I left academia and marine research at the university to figure out the best ways I can apply my particular set of skills and my knowledge in science and marine biology to help the ocean participate in ocean conservation and share a bunch of cool marine stuff with you guys. And at the same time, make a living out of it. What this means for me right now is that I'm working on a bunch of different projects. For example, this YouTube channel, which I hold very dearly in my heart. But besides that, what do I do? How does a day in the life of an aspiring science communicator look like? The truth is, I'm still figuring things out. And I thought it could be interesting to share my journey with you. As Miley once said, it's not about what's on the other side, it's about the climb. And I want to share with you this process of me becoming who I am meant to be. <laughs> I just want to share with you a little bit of the behind the scenes of what I do and how I do it. I hope you enjoy this little sneak peek into the last couple of weeks of my life. Well, let's just get started. The first thing I do every morning is write down in my agenda a to-do list. I do a monthly to-do list, weekly to-do list, and then every day a daily to-do list. I use a physical agenda. It just works better for me, old school style. I'm working on so many projects at the same time that sometimes it's just difficult to decide what I have to do in the moment. It's much better for me to just make a plan and follow it throughout the day. Today is Tuesday and usually this is the day I allocate to Restore Seas. Since two months ago, I am the communications officer for the Restore Seas project. It's an international project funded by the European Union for marine forest restoration. Marine forests being coral reefs, seagrass and seaweed. I have a video talking about that. It's called something like I work with grass now. Usually Tuesday is the day I work for Restore Seas because I'm only employed, well, I'm not really employed, I'm freelance for them but we agreed on more or less eight hours per week and usually Tuesday is my resources day but yesterday we went to Linz which is a city in Austria one of the main cities in Austria to Ars Electronica which is a museum that just kind of blew my mind honestly but anyways we went there because we are working together with a team from Ars Electronica on a I'm not sure I'm allowed to say it actually Hmm. but on a science outreach project for the Restore Seas project. So it was the entire day, which means that uh, today, Tuesday, I can do other stuff. So follow Restore Seas on Twitter, at Restore Seas. <laughs> it's me tweeting there most of the time. So today is one of those days that I have a bunch of really boring things to take care of. I have a visa to take care of on a for a trip I'm going to in August, which you will hear about. It's gonna be so ex- I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have some emails to send. I hate sending emails. Is, does anyone love sending emails? Because I don't think so. I'm gonna start planning my next video and do some social media stuff, which reminds me. I received the paperback copy on my book to give to Adriana, who is my friend and illustrator. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I finished writing the second book already and I'm gonna send it to the editor today. And I'm excited. It's a bit boring day. In fact, a film, I'm just gonna be working at the computer. But well, that's life, isn't it? I have a question regarding a visa. My name is Maria Pinto. Okay, thank you, in case. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye, thank you. I think this is a good time to point out that I have finally joined the dark side and started a TikTok account. So if you wanna follow me on there, the link will be down below. trying to organize a dive for next week with some friends of mine in Weissensee, which is a um, lake here in Austria. It would be the first time I'm diving in a lake. By the time this video comes up, probably a video about that dive is already up, if I manage to go. Because if you can't hear me, I feel like I'm getting sick. So I was writing an email to the diving center that would, you know, 
guide us through the lake. And now I'm just organizing my to-do list or my upcoming videos. Sometimes I have no video ideas or sometimes, which is the case now, I have like a bunch of video ideas, but I don't particularly like any of them. I think all of them are boring or I think no one wants to watch them. I just get this block sometimes that I, eh. if you want to do something, just start it. Even if you think it's not perfect, just do it because starting is the most difficult thing. And that's what I have to do with some of my video ideas. I just have to make them, even if I don't think it's the perfect idea ever. Just, yeah. So now I should stop talking because I'm losing my voice. The night after I filmed this, I had high fever and the next day I woke up feeling really terrible. It turned out that the Ronas had finally caught up with me. This is day four since I was diagnosed with COVID. Yesterday I had no fever, but I have no energy for anything. I was coughing a lot. I was blowing my nose all the time. I only had energy to go to the toilet and eat and watch stuff in bed. The moment I tried to use my brain a bit more than that, it would just collapse. Today, like obviously my this situation here is not normalized. I'm still coughing a bit, but I have much more energy. Like I woke up with 10 times the energy I had yesterday. I feel with a lot of energy, but the moment I do something a bit more brain intensive, I my energy level just poof, drops completely. But otherwise, I think we're going up. I think this is getting better. What boring two weeks I decided to record for you guys. This week or so, to tomorrow, I was supposed to go to the lake in Austria and that's why I actually started filming this vlog at this time because I was going to document that process and share with you a little bit what I like to film. But Life doesn't always go as we want. So yeah, this week is gonna be just me working computer. Yeah, so it's Monday today. I'm just doing what my brain allows me to do. Today is Tuesday, day five of quarantine. Uh, actually today I worked seven hours for Restore Seas and now I'm working on a script for my upcoming video which is probably the one that's going up before this one. I'm still confined to this room. I can go outside there, but with the mask. I'm waiting for my PCR test results today. The next day. PCR test, finally negative. I'm free. I'm free. And the first thing I'm gonna do as a COVID, as a COVID free woman is to go to the park and fill this with lake water for a video. You'll see. For my video, I'm looking for a lake that potentially can have a lot of algae. I think I just found one. I just want to collect some water. The more algae, the better. And we're going to do some house experiments. <laughs> algae in here so that we can do our experiments at home. Ich mache eine uh, mein Deutsch ist nicht so gut, aber ich mache ein Experiment mit uh, Al algae, algae. Genau. Always nice to meet people interested in what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, all right, crazy lady taking water from the lake, but these were nice people who are interested in toxicology. So Look, duckies. Always on the high, you were always on the mind, dear, what you tell. This is one of my favorite places in the park, this waterfall. Tell me what you tell. 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 Uh, but now I'm feeling my energy, energies, yes, my energies as well, but my allergies creeping in. You can't have everything at once, you know. 
my allergies are still full speed. So it's time to start heading home. Go a bit around, walk a bit maybe, breathe some fresh air, and then go home. After recovering from Rona's, I spent a couple of days at my boyfriend's hometown in the mountains. I continued working on my video, researching and scripting. I also started working on another project I have going on until mid-August. I've been contracted by a company to do some consultancy work related to plastic eating bacteria, which is what I specialized in during my PhD. And I started working on it while in the mountains. But I also took the opportunity to be in nature and leave the screen for a while. There is a little hidden place next to a river close to my partner's childhood home. It has small pools and waterfalls perfect for recharging during the day. I love it here. I want to be able to do the work that I do the best I can and for as long as possible. And to do that, I need to have time alone and allow myself to recharge, pause, get away from the internet and refocus. And places like this are just perfect to do all that. That's the magic of nature, I guess. lava, lava, more lava, and one of the most beautiful and otherworldly lagoons I've ever seen. Just finished recording the introduction of my previous video up on my channel about a green lagoon. It's a very interesting one. Go check it out. Now I'm going to edit the sound of that and going to start editing the intro. I'm going to wait till I'm back in Vienna to record the rest of the video. So now I can just work on the intro. Then have lunch and continue working. I think in the afternoon I'm going to work on some consultancy work I have to do. While I would like to be able to dedicate 100% of my time to science communication to this channel and other projects that are more related to you know, what I really want to do long run, it's still not financially viable for me to only do that. So I do need to take up other projects. This is one of them. So I'm going to dedicate the afternoon probably f to, to that. That's it. After four days in the mountains, we went back home to Vienna. The next day after arriving, I spent one day in Brno in the Czech Republic to visit the Mendel Museum. This is because of another project I am involved in. It's a cooperation between the Czech Republic and Austria to celebrate Gregor Mendel's 200th birthday. But I think I will leave the explanation of what this project actually is and how I'm involved in it for another video. I had a nice day, a cool pea-based lunch, and at the end of the day, I was on my way back to Vienna. It's 8 in the morning. I'm walking to the park now to finish filming my Why is this Lagoon Green video. And I hope it doesn't rain because it's really warm. That wouldn't be a problem, but I do have all my equipment with me. It's raining fantastic. Just about when I was coming in. I'm gonna get some shelter over here because I have my equipment with me. It's gonna sit here under this little... <laughs> Great. <laughs> let's go, guys. Let's film some more stuff in the park, shall we? Blue dude. Blue moon. Kind of mysterious, shaded by someone I'm not really in. I'm trying to do thumbnails. I hate doing thumbnails. I think it's my least favorite part of the whole YouTube thing <laughs> is thinking about thumbnails because I don't like it and I suck at it. <sighs> but let's go. Gonna save you. It's gonna make you feel
Hey guys, so I think this is going to be the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed these scattered little bits of my life as a science communicator or as I figure out my way to becoming a good science communicator. Let me know if you like this type of video. If you want to support this journey, please check out my Patreon. Uh, down, it's linked down below. I honestly, I always say this, but it is true. This is only possible thanks to my Patreons who have supported me for such a long time. Thank you so much. You are fantastic and awesome. Namaste. All the links for my social media are down below. If you want to have 20% off in any of these bracelets, check out my link down in the description below for follow as well. And 10% of whatever you pay for each bracelet will go to a conservation organization. So check them out. They're awesome. It helps me as well because it's an affiliate link. There's also my Indonesia trip next year. It's less than a year from now. We are me and a bunch of cool some of you are going to Indonesia. There's still places available, so check that out also down below if you want to check it out and go book your place before it's gone. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.